Hi, my name is Humair Mandavia and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Zookit. Today I want to introduce to you Zookin's family of tools for system level design called CR8000. CR8000 can help design teams realize a concept to manufacturing design process by combining their electrical design planning in one intelligent environment using System Planner and then passing the design intent to design gateway for multi-board circuit design and then to design force for system level physical design. You can then complete all your manufacturing needs using DFM Center. So today I'd like to give you an overview of system level design using CR8000. For upfront planning and partitioning of the complete system, System Planner brings all your product planning tasks into one environment such as the creation of functional block diagrams, 2D floor planning, 3D space planning, and bomb planning allowing you to make real-time trade-off analysis during the design planning phase. As an example of the real-time interaction in System Planner, I'm going to split the view here between a 3D and 2D view. And we'll take this component here in 3D and you'll dynamically see the placement change here in the 2D view. I could also take another component here in the 2D view and you'll see that change ha now take place in the 3D view. Also, information from System Planner can then be passed down downstream for circuit and layout design. I can also use detail design information to be reused inside of System Planner. So let's take, for example, I'll bring in a design here from Windows Explorer or circuit design, and I'll drag and drop it into this block over here. And you can see this information now embedded inside the project in System Planner. And at any point in time, I can hover over that block and access the sheet. And I have a CPU block here where I have several sheets I can access. So you can see where that information is being reused. Once I'm done with the logical representation of my complete system, I can highlight the whole block diagram and push this out to Design Gateway. So I can decide which circuit I want to send this information to. And I have other options if I want to treat this block diagram as hierarchy or a flat schematic, and we'll hit Export. And this will go and push all the information out to Design Gateway. Once this is complete, I can decide if I want to open this, so we'll say Yes. And this will open up Design Gateway with my system level design. In Design Gateway, you can see the system level circuit shared from System Planner and all the other sheets of circuitry so I can continue the detail part of my design. So you can see where reuse is being leveraged. Also, if I have any other documents to share, such as data sheets, I can open them up inside of Design Gateway and ensure that I'm designing to the intended requirements. I can also manage my high speed constraints in Design Gateway as well. So I can select the critical nets and manage the constraints from the net, extended net, spacing classes. I can manage all that inside of one utility. Also, the constraint browser allows me to auto-create my differential pairs, so I'll select this here, and I'll define a new pairing rule, and you can see where this automatically identifies the nets that have met that criteria, and I'll hit OK to send that to the constraint browser, and I can start managing the constraints for my differential pairs here and continue on with my design. To complement the constraint management, I can also do my signal integrity analysis right inside a design gateway. So I'll select this address bit here, and we'll pick an H3 topology and launch our scenario editor where we can do other what-if analysis. So now I'm extracting the topology of the net in the complete design, and once I've studied this, I can do the simulation analysis and continue on with my signal integrity work right inside a design gateway. So as you can see, when you're working with high speed, you can do your constraint management and verification in one environment. And at any point in time during the circuit design, if I want to kick out the layout process, I can simply open up Design Force and drag and drop the circuitry from Design Gateway to Design Force. And after it processes, you can see where it'll create the board outline and stack the components for me as well. So then now I can start the layout of the design and work concurrently with the schematic design. Design Force is Zookin's multi-board system level design tool and it takes advantage of the latest user interface techniques such as the touchpad. So as I work with my mouse I can use the touchpad to not just navigate and pan around in my design but also access other important functions to complete my design therefore improving my productivity. I can now design seamlessly between a 2D and 3D view and as I go to place this component, you won't see a lag in performance. That's because Design Force takes advantage of the latest hardware and software technologies, such as 64-bit architecture, multi-core, multi-threading processing. 
for maximum performance. I can continue working concurrently between Design Gateway and Design Force, or as I mentioned before, I can also dr drive layout information from System Planner. So let's go to the Physical Visionary and I'll highlight all the PCBs in my system and I'll drag and drop them into System Planner. Once this process is complete, I can see all the PCBs inside of Design Force and then I can continue working on my system level design. And for the sake of time, I've went ahead and uh, completed the routing on the main board and we'll look at the system level design here. I will now open up the board tree view in this design and this is where I manage the system level project and control the traceability of my design. So I'll turn on the subboard here and we'll zoom in close to where these two connectors meet. And we'll turn on the low lighting feature and I'll open up the multiboard constraint browser. The multiboard constraint browser allows me to con connect all my objects in the system and also highlight them inside the design so I can see the visualization on where the system interconnects run through between the connectors. And once I'm done with the system level design using Design Force, I can then open up DFM Center to continue on with creating my necessary data for manufacturing. So in DFM Center you can see I can do my panelization of not just my main board but also my subboard here, and I can continue completing my documentation where you see my notes and my drill table that was automatically generated for me. I can then create my necessary data such as Gerber files, drill outputs, uh, necessary IPC data and even in circuit testing information and then prepare the necessary data for manufacturing. DFM Center can also conduct advanced manufacturing rule checks for fabrication and assembly concurrently as I'm doing my design and also allows me to post process any of the data and simulate the finishing images to complete the preparation of data for manufacturing. So as we've learned today, CR8000 is a complete family of tools for system level design allowing you to realize a complete integrated design flow from concept to manufacturing. For more information on CR8000, please visit our website at zookin.com and thank you for watching our video.